Uh, there are currently over 1 billion smokers worldwide. Practically, in any given year, 9 out of uh, 10 uh, smokers don't quit. So how do you think uh, we can uh, change this number? So there have been many attempts to change this number. Uh, we, as uh, Philip Morris International, believe that one of the best attempts is to provide smokers with smoke-free alternatives. Smoke-free alternatives are products that are scientifically substantiated to be better alternatives for smokers that otherwise would continue to smoke. Our position is very clear. If you don't smoke, don't start. If you smoke, quit. If you don't quit, change. And when we say change, change to smoke-free alternatives that are scientifically substantiated to be less harmful. Why are they less harmful? They are less harmful because they eliminate combustion from the use of nicotine. We have a full portfolio of these alternatives. Okay, thank you. So, how have uh, innovation, science, and uh, technology supported the uh, PMI during the journey towards a smoke-free future? Since uh, we declared our new purpose in 2016 to go towards a smoke-free future, we made uh, big steps in that direction, and the biggest uh, manifestation of that is that today we do have already 35% of our revenues in smoke-free products, and already today we have 23 countries around the world that are majority smoke-free, so they have more than 50% of their revenues in smoke-free products. How did it happen? It happened through science and technology, meaning that we have invested about $10 billion so far in the development and commercialization of ICOS, that is our biggest uh, smoke-free brand. Thank you. So, please tell us, in your perception, how would an iconic brand of the next generation look like? Well, I can tell you an iconic brand uh, that wants to change a behavior, because in our case, uh, uh, when we uh, help smokers to transition out of cigarettes and uh, uh, go into smoke-free alternatives, we are trying to change a behavior. And a brand that wants to change a behavior has to have credibility, has to have empathy, and has to be genuine to help smokers to make a transition that is a very important transition. We always believe that the best behavior possible is to quit smoking, but if there is no quitting, changing to a smoke-free alternative is the best alternative. Okay, so how does a concept like uh, Together X uh, helps Icos build a brand equity? So we are celebrating those legal age users that made the switch from traditional cigarettes to Icos. This is a very important choice uh, that they've taken. And through our Together X uh, platform, we are basically celebrating this choice. It's an important choice uh, in their lives. And we want to support the community of ICOS users that take very seriously a step in the right direction, because it's a step towards smoke-free alternatives that are scientifically substantiated to be less harmful than continuous smoking. Okay. At the PMI, you talk about uh, harm reduction. Can you explain to us uh, how tobacco harm reduction strategy can help smokers? Absolutely. So, by eliminating combustion from the use of nicotine, we are eliminating, on average, 95% of the impactful substances, the harmful substances, from the use of a cigarette. So by eliminating 95% of those impactful substances, we are providing smokers a better alternative, better alternative than continued smoking. Uh, this is the concept of harm reduction. I, we, we, of course, uh, know that the best alternative is always to quit uh, because uh, uh, nicotine is addictive. But the biggest uh, uh, problem related to smoking diseases is not nicotine, it's combustion. We are eliminating combustion from the use uh, of cigarettes by providing smoke-free alternatives, alternatives that are scientifically substantiated to be less harmful. Okay, thank you so much for your time and for all the information. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.